In the fourth module of the Pandas tutorial, we are going to learn about multi-indexing. Multi-indexing or you can say hierarchical indexing or advanced indexing. Hi, I am Saurav Agarwal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn about one of the most interesting aspects of Pandas which allows you to visualize or represent multi-dimensional data set into two-dimensional data frames. How do we do that? We could very well do it using other functionalities such as group by or we could have data in the form of 2D data frames themselves by duplicating the rows. Let us understand it using an example. Consider that you have a, a list of stores in a market. In a particular market, you have a list of stores. Each store con consists of a set of products and each product consists of a set of brands for which the products are available. Now this is a three dimensional data set wherein for each store you would have a set of products and each product would have a set of brands. You could very well represent this data frame in the form of a simple duplication wherein each store product and brand would be represented as columns. Let us see how things are working here. We will first import pandas as pd with pd here is used as an alias for pandas. Okay. The runtime takes some time to start up, it's initializing. Meanwhile, we'll see the data frame that we are creating consists of store, product, and we shall also add the brands associated. Now, each store, as you see, a, 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 each store consists of a set of products. We are duplicating the stores in order to have the set of products associated with a particular store. Okay, this, this is understood fine. If you look at the data set, this represents something as this. You have a store A, 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 product, shampoo, soap, conditioner, shampoo, soap, conditioner, shampoo, soap, conditioner, face wash. So these are the products associated with each of the stores. Now this is the long form representation of a data frame. You would notice that if we want to compare a store or if we want to understand what are the different as products associated with the store, this is definitely one of the ways, but this is not the most efficient way to represent it. The most efficient way would have been to represent store as an index and maybe product as a set of columns, right? Or you can say a list of products associated with each store. However, when we add one more attribute to it, brands, which we are representing as a list of brands associated with each product, let us see how data frame looks like. Okay, so here you see for store A pro containing product shampoo, the br associated brands are XYZ, ABC and 123, right? These are the associated brands associated with the product for store A. Now again, we convert this into long form using the explode method. The explode method allows to convert a data frame which or a column containing the list of datas into a long form representation. For example, here the product shampoo would again store A would be duplicated thrice because we have three brands associated with that product. Let us see how this works. Just call data frame dot explode and pass the attribute against which we want to explode our data frame. So you see the product shampoo is duplicated thrice and for each product shampoo for store A, we have a corresponding brand XYZ ABC 123. Now you can understand this is a three dimensional data frame. We are very well representing it in two dimensional using the long format of the data frame. But this is not the efficient or the most efficient way to represent our data whenever we go for exploration, whenever we are de deep diving to draw insights from our data. So there that is where multi indexing comes into the picture. Now hope you are making sense of why we need multi indexing in the first place. Okay. Unless you understand the reasoning behind why something is needed, you would not appreciate the basic constructs that it provides. Okay. Now we store the exploded data frame into our store DF data frame. Okay. What we will do here, we will use multi indexing. We will create a multi index from frame where the index would represent store and the corresponding product. Then next we will set that idx or the multi index as our index of the data frame and drop the cat attributes or columns representing store and product okay let us see what happens now 
since we are not storing it back into the store df or we are not having an in place operation here we see the result here okay so we see the index is store comma product and the column associated is brand so for each store having these products we have the brands associated as under okay so this would give us an edge imagine when you have a 10 dimensional data set or you have 15 dimensional data set in two dimensional or three dimensional this would not be very advantageous you could very well work with a long format but when we go for higher dimensions this representation would make much sense and it would make us much easier especially when we are searching for a data especially we want to segregate data based on a certain category based on a certain store based on a certain product or any other dimension that we would like to okay now what we are doing is we are storing this into a temp data frame okay what and the next thing that we'll see is simply if you want to see what are the products and the brands associated with store a we can very easily call temp dot lock within this top bracket a a represents our index at the first level index le value at the first level this is store a you could very well have it with b as well let us change it to b and see what the results are so if you see the product associated with the store b are shampoo soap conditioner conditioner and their corresponding brands if you further want to make it see as for example here if i want to further break it down and just find out what are the products what are the brands associated with the particular product for a particular store it is as simple as passing the store value the product value so iterating through it or picking a subset of the data frame becomes much easier imagine you have 10 dimensions so you know the values for each of the 10 dimensions what you want to find out and you can very well pick it out it is unlike going and adding condition for each of the 10 dimensions which would be in, if we have represented in the long format of the data frame okay now you would be appreciating it even much more right next we will see how to create a data frame or how to create a multi indexing from tuples we created it from data frame here if you see we called pd dot multi index dot from frame we passed a data frame store df with two columns store and product and we created the index here if you want to see what this index looks like let us just print idx and see what this index looks like it is taking some time to load yeah so see the index looks like the tuple values representing the two columns accordingly next up we'll create it using tuples we take a data frame with columns as row 1x 1y 2x 2y we shall also create multi indexing over the columns remember multi indexing is just the name for hierarchical index indexing advanced indexing which could be applied both to the indexes as well as to the columns you can have hierarchical column structure or you can have a hierarchical index structure or you can have both at the same time so let us see what this data frame looks like we are setting row as our index to this data frame and the data frame looks something like this 1x 1y 2x 2y and the indexes are 0 1 2 these are some of the values we have filled in now we create an index let us call it as idx1 pd dot multi index dot from tuples we create a list of tuples for each of the indices to represent what we are doing is we are simply splitting this column name as 1 and x 1 y 2 x 2 y and we will have a multiple or hierarchical column representation see we are setting df1 dot columns is equals to idx1 so how our data frame would look like see this is the first level of the hierarchical column this is the second level of the hierarchical column so when you want to call it out it would be 1x 1y 2x 2y which is very well in our wide form of the data frame right so hierarchical column representation would enable to combine the wide form of the data frame or shrink the wide form of data frame whereas multi indexing or indexing with hierarchical indexing would enable you to uh, combine the long form of the data frame okay next we will see a very important function associated with multi indexing get level values so 
as I told you that this would represent level 0, this would represent level 1. Similarly, for our indexing, store would represent level 0, whereas products would represent level 1. Now, if I want to get the level values at a particular level for the multi index, I'll call idx.getLevelValues. So, for the index for the level 0, I had 1, 1, 2, 2. Okay. Next up, we create another index from tuples which would represent 0, comma i, where i is ranging from 0 to the shape of the data frame. We create this multi index. Okay. Very well. Now we set this as our index, hierarchical index of our data frame, our existing data frame. So how this would look like? See, we earlier had the hierarchical column representation. Now we also have the hierarchical index representation. So you could have both at the same time, right? This becomes, just imagine that you have a very high dimensional data frame. Then you want to draw insights from the data frame. You want to look into a particular set of values in the data frame. In that respect, this hierarchical indexing or hierarchical column structure becomes very important or very crucial. Okay. Next, another important function for multi-indexing is stack and unstack. What stack will do is stack the prescribed levels from columns to index. It will pick the columns. If you have a hierarchical column structure, so it will pick the column, one of the levels of that column which we prescribe and put it into our indices. We had the hierarchical representation representation of columns as 1x, 1y, 2x, 2y. So what we are doing? We are doing df1 dot stack. Let us see how it looked like. The earlier data frame looked something as this. See 1x, 1y, 2x, 2y. What we are doing is we are stacking this level 1 to our index. So it would be 00x, 00y. 01x, 01y, 02x, 02y. It got from the columns to the indices. This is the primary use case of stack. Similarly, you could do for level 0 and you would have something as this. Right? Instead of xy, we have now 1 and 2 going over to our indices from the columns. Okay. If you print the index here, you will find in instead of two-dimensional multi-index representation, it becomes three-dimensional multi-index representation. Similarly, unstack. Unstack would pick up the column, uh, sorry, pick up the index, hierarchical index at a particular level and put it to the column and it would add on top of the column. Okay. Like for example, previously we had under temp, let us print temp, then we will be able to understand it better. Okay. So, if you print temp, we, I already had 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 2 and my columns were x and y. Now what I am doing, I am unstacking level 1 from temp. This is my level 1, 0, 1, 2 and putting it to my columns. So already level 0 is present. I am adding 0, 1, 2 to the level 1 of my column structure. So I will have something as this. Another very important method here is xs. xs means the cross section. If I want to pick a cross section of the data frame, for example, here we had the temp data frame as this. Okay. Now, say I want to pick from level 0, this is my uh, sorry, from level 1, all the values that are associated with, with my index value 1. Okay. So, how I can do this is let us see. I will call xs temp.xs. I will specify the level. The level is 1. This is from the index. Okay. From level 1, I want to pick key value as 1. So, what are the associated values with the key level 1 on level 1? It is 1.1, 1.2, 1.11, 1.22. So, if you see 1.1, 1.2, 1.11, 1.2. So this is what is getting picked up okay these two columns are uh, these two rows from our data frame are picked up using excess excess again becomes crucial when you want to filter it when you want to filter data values from your data frame with multi indexing excess is a very important tool or methodology there now 
होप दैट यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द बेसिक कंस्ट्रक्ट बिहाइंड मल्टी इंडेक्सिंग हाउ मल्टी इंडेक्सिंग वर्क वट इज द इंट्यूटिव रीजनिंग बिहाइंड मल्टी इंडेक्सिंग वेन एवर यू गो फॉर इन साइड बिल्डिंग ड्रॉइंग इन साइड फाइंडिंग द ट्रेजर फ्रॉम योर डेटा यू वुड नीड टू कॉम्बाइन ऑल द मेथड्स ऑल द फंक्शनलिटीज दैट वी लर्न सो फार ऑलवेज रिमेंबर वन थिंग लाइक इफ यू ब्रेक डाउन अ लार्ज प्रॉब्लम इन टू स्मॉलर मैनेजेबल चंक्स and take a structured approach to any problem solving you will definitely reach the end goal maybe you will face some hiccups in between but you will reach your end goal if you break it down into a smaller chunks and move forward in a structured manner coming to the most important part of our tutorial the assignment questions if you haven't attempted the assignment questions for the previous three modules make sure you go ahead and attempt your assignment questions put your answers in the comments below i'll give a heart to the right answer assignment questions will help you prepare for the interview level well in the next module we are going to discuss the solution for all the assignment questions along with important interview questions in pandas now coming to our assignment question for this module 4 we first take a data frame df3 the data frame looks something as we have height and weight and we have a hierarchical indexing associated as 0a 0b 0c so the first assignment question goes as given this data frame df3 sum the values for the indices in level 0 this is level 0 you have to sum the corresponding values in the indices okay hope this is making sense the second important question is find the values for index value at index value a what are the values associated with index value a in our data frame df3 attempt these assignment questions and see you in the next lecture in the module 5 it is very important for your interview preparation if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe hit the bell icon share it to your friends and data science enthusiasts have a very happy durga puja jai hind see you in the next lecture bye bye have a good day